I'm sure her other doctors will agree with me. Going home is out of the question. But why? 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 I mean, if that's what she wants to do and there's nothing more you can do for her here, then why? She can be closely monitored here. If she were to take a sudden turn for the worse, she could be treated immediately. At home, she would die. We gotta go talk to her. Come on. Coming? Come on. No, huh? no, I'm, I'm gonna go and um, talk to John, see if I can get him down here. No. Mom, I thought this was all decided. Come on! You can't let these doctors just... <coughs> hey. Hey. Did you talk to Dr. Webster yet? And what do you say? Well, it's, um, it's complicated. Jeremy, honey. I want to talk to Tom alone for a minute, please. Dr. Webster is adamant about you staying here. However, if you decide to leave, there's not much he can do. I don't know what to do. I promised Jeremy that I'd go home. And he got all excited. But I'm not sure it's a good idea. I mean, he's only a kid. He can't take care of me. Well, there'll be people to help. I mean, we're here, my mom, and we will make sure that Jeremy's not alone. Not now. But he will be when I'm gone. It's just a matter of weeks or even days. If I stay here, doctors can help me hang on longer. Okay, then. You decide to stay here, that's what we'll do. It's not what I've decided. It's just I don't have a choice. I have to hang on until I'm sure that somebody can take care of Jeremy. I have to stay alive until you find his father or my dad. Yeah, okay, Craig. Lisa. Yeah. Well, I, I was just doing some things for Jeremy. I, uh, I, I stocked the refrigerator and I had maid service come in to take care of the apartment. How's Tom? Hmm? She's about the same. Tom's in there with her. Did you get any rest? No, Margo, I really did not rest well at all. I mean, all I can do is think about what your father is trying to do to Eduardo's grave. I wish I, you'd talk with him. You, you know, you know I'm chances. trying very hard not to get in the middle of this. But I think John deserves a chance to clear his name, don't you? Tom, Tom, so what do you have to say? <clears throat> well, I think your mom's decided to stay at the hospital. What? Yeah, uh, she's aware that she can get some very special treatment here, and Dr. Webster is no, kind of so insisting. So in other so words, you said you'd get her out, but now you're not going to do it. No, in other words, I think that perhaps we should listen to the doctor. He's the expert here, not me. Yeah, well, thanks for nothing. Every time mom counts on you, you always let her down. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Mom, take it easy. Margo asked John to come up and look in on Don. Why didn't you tell me? Well, he wasn't sure he could make it. Is that Don's room there? Yeah, yeah. it is. Excuse me, that's where I'm going. John, John, when you come out, I want you to tell me just why you sent your son to fight your battles for you. I beg your pardon. Yeah, don't act so innocent. Andy, Andy came over to try to convince me not to, uh, this is I the time of This is not the time thing here, Oh, you, would you take it outside, please? I'm going to call up Barbara. I want to see what she, what she wants. You know, it seemed to me that things were really bad enough here, but that was really rather pleasant as well. Rather. So I guess there's no way of us avoiding this, huh? we do, we'll be avoiding it the rest of our lives, Clayton. All right, let me see if I've got this straight. Dr. Webster is your attending physician. Dr. Springer is your respiratory man. Woman. Hmm? It's a woman. Hmm. All right. Uh, Dr. Ratner is the age specialist. I'll leave anybody out. It says, Doctor, hmm. what do you think of this stuff they call lunch? 
Yes, well, I've seen worse. Uh, well, Mom really misses my cooking. I make a mean tuna salad. What do you guys say we go home and have some? Is that okay, Mom? Jimmy, I'm so tired right now, honey. Can, can we talk about it later? I'll let you get some rest, and then I'll check back with you later. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Doctor, wait. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? In private? I gotta ask you something. Sure, come on. What? Look, okay, look, I, I talked to Barbara. She wants me to come in and look after the kids for a few days. What? And it's fine with me. John is here. You don't need me now. Mom, don't so start this, please. I'm going to say goodbye to Dawn, okay? I cannot believe that Barbara would impose on my mother at a time like this. I can. Actually, you know, it's probably a good thing for Lisa, just to take her mind off of everything. I wish she'd pay a little attention to her own grandchildren, though. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Margo. Hey. Are you going to see my mom now? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, I just want to have a word with John. Excuse us, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? Where'd you been? Huh? Well, we were outside talking, Jeremy. God, this is so hard for him. Well, he's got a little growing up to do here pretty fast. Hey, Tom, Tom, did you find out anything? No, I just got off the phone with Washington, and I keep hitting dead ends. I can't seem to locate Jeremy's father, his grandfather. Where is Jeremy, by the way? He's um, in with Dawn. Look, I'm going to go over to my office. The DA's computer can access all kinds of things that I can't get from any pay phones, so... Can I go with you, please? Can you uh, keep an eye on things here? I mean, keep an eye on Jeremy and stuff? Sure. Um, tell Dawn that I am going to find Jeremy's relatives. I'm going to mm -hmm. do it. Hey, come on, sweetie, it's here. Thank Thanks. you. He didn't tell me why did Dawn to stay in the hospital. For Jeremy's sake, she's afraid about the burden it might put on him. Yeah, but we'd be here for him. Well, I told her that. Her major concern is a little, um, a little heavier than that. She wants to be in the hospital in case she has to go on life support. She's willing to do that or anything to hold on until she's sure that I've tracked down Jeremy's father and his grandfather. She's not going to go. She's not going to rest until she's sure that there's a future for her son, that he's not going to be alone. 